I could hardly walk when I came to see Andrew. Well, I was having a lot of um, back problems for a lot of years. And at the time I was experiencing some lower leg pain. I thought it was maybe sciatica. I used to go out with my mates on a Friday night and I would be on the metro on the way back home and I would have to start getting up after the seat uh, stop beforehand because it would take three or four goes to get up off the seat. I've had lower back problems for for a number of years, probably in, into the 90s. GP was just keep sending us to um, physiotherapists, um, putting us on traction, um, painkillers constantly. Um, you know, it does have limitations on what you can actually do if you've got back pain. It limits everything that you do. And I'd heard from a friend about Andrew and um, I thought, I have to give him a go, I was in so much pain. Chiropractic was one of those things that was recommended, so we just thought then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go and, and see what happens. The initial assessment was obviously going through your symptoms, you give a lot of history, um, and then the initial examination, consultation, and then a recommended treatment programme. He'd done further tests on it, and I uh, wasn't happy with what he, he was finding. Um, he advised me to, to go straight to hospital. Oh. where he uh, wrote a letter to, to the hospital outlining what he thought the problems were and it was diagnosed as um, three DVTs, um, one large one in the femoral vein and two smaller ones. You feel that you're important, you feel that you know your, your individual needs are met. So tell me how quickly did you see some results, how quickly did you stop taking your painkillers? Probably within the first two to three weeks. Oh right, so that's quite Definitely. a big result. Yes, yes. I very rarely take painkillers now. I don't take any painkillers. I come every every four weeks, come for a checkup. It's like a maintenance. A maintenance, yes, and I'd recommend that to everybody. And I'll come once a month um, to make sure it's, it's kept right. I see Andrew every two months now. And oh, it's right. just basically as part of a maintenance. I'd prefer to, to keep me back in good working order constantly. And then when I started getting chiropractic again, I, I, I took up tennis probably about 14 years ago now. And um, now I'm, I play between six and nine hours a week. Me personally, without Andrew, I think I'd still be on crutches. Now I'm just get straight over and play tennis all the time. Finding out that I had the DVT, um, getting it diagnosed and getting the treatment and now being okay, obviously it's quite important. Yeah, it I just see. goes to show that how you know, it's not just about backs and, and back pain. We've experienced that it can definitely make a massive improvement into your lifestyle. The best thing that I ever did. I'm Andrew Haywood and I'm the chiropractor at The Practice. You've just heard success stories from six of our patients. They were just like you. They had aches, pains and injuries and they didn't have a clue whether chiropractic was right for them or not. The thing is, they made an appointment, they came in, they were assessed and found out that chiropractic care could help them. At your first appointment, we'll take a detailed history, we'll do a full examination and assessment, and from there, I'll be able to give you an accurate idea as to whether chiropractic is suitable for your condition. If we can help, we'll give you our recommendations and a treatment plan. Even if we can't help, we may be able to signpost you in the right direction so you can get the help you need. The thing is, you really won't know if we can help you or not unless you take that first step and make an appointment. So give us a call, email us or contact us via our Facebook page. All the links are on this web page, so there's really no excuse. We look forward to seeing you at the practice soon.